you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide, and today we got the brand new Mutt 10 promo drop. So, if you guys don't already know what Mutt 10 is, Mutt 10 is pretty much a weekly promo that typically comes out on Fridays, and the card usually drops around 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, and it's going to be one of the best cards in the game. They're limited time legends. So, guys, before we get into all this, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit the subscribe button, boys. We're so close to AK, we're like 100 away. Make it happen on this video. Make it happen today, boys. Let's get to 8K. Make sure to go down below. Hit the like button. Let's get this video to 200 likes for the insane Julius Peppers drop. Go over everything you guys need to know. Go over a few other things that I need to have to, I have to say in this video. And if you haven't already, comment down below what you think of this new Julius Peppers card at some point when you see the stats. I think he's pretty insane. I love the card art. They, they, they really hit it right with these Mutt 10 cards. The only issue I have with them is that they are limited time, so it does kind of take away from how many people can really get them. And turn on the noti bell, guys, before I get right into this video. Let's get into it. So if you guys didn't already know, we got so far three drops. So far from week one, we got Bo Jackson. Week two, we got Patrick Willis. Week three, we got Michael Vick. And now week four, we do indeed have Julius Peppers. Julius Peppers is a fan favorite, six foot seven monster. He's someone that everyone always looks forward to, although he's not an outside linebacker. He is a left. So this new Julius Peppers is not an outside linebacker, which is new because typically when EA drops those big tribute type Julius Peppers cards, He's always an outside linebacker, which he's usually pretty slow, but he's usually really tall. This one, in fact, is pretty fast, but he is left end, so it kind of counteracts the, the the overpowered fact you would have had if he was an end. Now, guys, remember, when these do drop before, things will be dropping in Madden. And the market, quite honestly, might take a pretty big hit, and especially on the defensive end. Defensive end, you know, like defensive line. Typically, these Mutt 10 cards are a pretty good method of to abuse the market with because when they come out when bo jacks came out he killed the halfback market when michael vick came out he killed the, he killed the whole market when patrick willis came out he killed the middle linebacker market so in my opinion i believe left ends will be going down i'm gonna go check right now and see what left ends are going for even just his announcement which just happened it, 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 will, it could kill the market so let's see what left ends are looking like right now and then we'll go over the stats and in my opinion it shouldn't be down too much just yet because the game it hasn't actually dropped in the game yet but you never know with, with news of this. Yeah, it hasn't dropped yet. I imagine when he does drop in the game officially, Reggie White's and other cards such as like D-Law will start coming down pretty rapidly. Yeah, Michael Strand's at 179, D-Law's at 256. So I imagine these will start coming down rapidly once news actually breaks of these cards indeed coming out. So in my opinion, if you guys need the left end, today would be the day, guys. Today would definitely be the day for a left end considering how the price will go down. And if he is good enough in other people's eyes, then you could even have him for... You can even you can even get his power up if you guys think he's that good. Remember, a great method with these power up cards when it comes to the Mutt 10 promos. You go play the solo challenge, you get the power up card, and Patrick Willis power up 89 was one of the best linebackers in the game. Power quarterback Michael Vick's one of the best quarterbacks in the game. Powered up Bo Jackson, one of the best running backs in the game. So I can't imagine that Julius Peppers is that far off. He will power up to about a 90 overall, which is pretty huge. Now let's get over to the card stats over on. Coming over to Twitter, we got Julius Peppers right here. Salary cap hit 43. I don't, I'm not a salary cap guy, so you guys understand that I won't. He's got whatever that is. It looks like arrows going forward. Doesn't mean much to me. Limited time card can obviously be powered up. Really insane card art. Now, I want to say this was an old flashback card, right? Because I can see the lightning right there to there. I have, I want to say that's like some insane limited time flashback card from an older Madden. I don't remember what Madden had that. Was it was it Madden 13? Was it Madden 20? Was it Madden 16? I don't remember what Madden had that exact flashback, but I believe that is what it is. It is because if you guys don't know, the Mutt 10 typically takes some of the fan favorite card art of these cards from years prior, and they bring them back. Like the Willis one was really cool from the uh, Most Feared promo. But this is pretty cool. It is on the Panthers. Really cool card art, has a visor on. Now he's a left end 92 overall. So, so far the overalls, I think it's gonna be like in this pattern, like 91, 91, 92, 92, 93, 93, 94, 94, 95, 95. If that makes sense over 10 weeks. Which means that when the pack does come out guys, it will be imperative that you guys focus on overalls. Cause although you might want the Mike Vick, come week 10, the highest overall card won't be that Mike Vick. It'll be probably 95 overall. Also you have to keep in mind that these limited time players will be coming back into packs come the end of every series so maybe you'll be better off going with the guys who can be way more overpriced because vic will not be as expensive come the time that you get your free player from the solos i'll go all over that after towards the end of the video anyway so let's get into his stats he's six foot seven he is huge now for an end that doesn't impact it as much considering that i don't know how qb spies are very overpowered when they're tall this year but he does have an 84 speed 88 acceleration 87 strength 82 tackling 87 play rec 
84 block shedding, 85 power move, 92 finesse move. Now, if this card is powered up and you have him camped, he will hit the play wreck threshold. He will hit the play wreck threshold. He will hit the power move threshold. And although his block shedding threshold isn't there, which is, might be the only boon on this card, is pretty much the block shedding. Because he does have the Excel, he does have the speed. The Excel and the speed are huge, especially for any. If you guys know anything, that's like running back slash. That's he's faster than my DeAndre Hopkins, I'm pretty sure. That's pretty huge for an end. But I do, I don't really like the block shedding. I mean, you can't really look past the block shedding because for me, a limited time end 92 overall he needs to be able to run stuff and pass rush. He can definitely pass rush very well. He can definitely set the edge. I mean, if he can use if that 84 block shed deems like viable. I mean. It's tough because if he gets all, if he can get off a block, he can easily chase down running backs and quarterbacks. So that's more, that's that's necessary with how Q uh, escape artist is right now and evasive and how fast running backs are. But the issue with the block shedding is that I feel like he might be able to get easily blocked by most defensive uh, linemen, not defense, offensive linemen. So that is gonna hurt him a little bit. But besides the point, if you if you, if you have to, you don't power him up though. Stock he only has one threshold, which kind of does suck. 87 strength. I guess it all, it all depends on his underlying stats. But you could also power this card up. If you power him up to a 90, he'll probably still get the finesse move threshold anyways, and he'll still be pretty fast. So definitely stay on the lookout for that. Let's head back over to the Madden screen to go over the last key points of Mutt tonight. So we're back on the Mutt screen now. Something big you guys don't want to forget, right? To get his power up. And to get what you're going to need in 10 weeks. If you guys don't already know this, I got to cover this every time for new uh, new viewers and stuff. This promo is Mutt 10. It started about four weeks ago, approximately four weeks ago. It pretty much runs from now until 10 weeks from the day it started. So that will be sometime in late October, early November. Now, that will be when we get all 10 tokens. Now, if you guys don't know... The 10 tokens that you get from these solo challenges will be used in a set. And if you put all 10 of them in, you get one free limited time Mutt 10 player. Now, the thing about it is that you can't miss any tokens. You need all 10. It's not like team of the year where if you miss one or two, you can make it up. You need all 10. You miss one week, you're out. So if you already missed one, that kind of sucks. But obviously for those that didn't miss it, remember it's Madden Ultimate Team 10. You come right over here. It typically crashes my game when I click into it. So I'm gonna, okay, I can click into this. So there's Michael Vick, P. Willis, Bo Jackson. You can no longer play these challenges. They are limited time. They open at 4 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday, and they end on Monday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you get it all done by, in my opinion, Sunday night. Get it done now. It's a full game, but if you, play, if you put Chew Clock on and you just run the ball 100 times on every drive, you could probably finish it in two or three drives. Obviously, you need to play one defensive drive, but it's really not that hard. Now, remember, you also get their power from this. So if you really want to make some coins, get this done quickly. You can go sell their power probably for like... 10k minimum which isn't bad at all or you can keep them like i said that's how i get my players i have patrick willis and uh, mike vick all the way powered up you could just go get the julius peppers power power them up to a 90 and now you have a 90, 90 left end for probably like 150k worth of training which is not bad at all especially with training prices being down now if you don't want julius peppers you can always go to the auction block and go just pick one up for um you can go pick a left end up that isn't Julius Peppers. That will probably be down in price, such as D-Law and Reggie White. I imagine their prices will take a bit of a hit, and so will Strahan once Julius Peppers officially drops. But it all depends on how people view their stats. I think his stats are a little bit... I think they're really good. They're amazing. The block shit gets to me, though. The block shit uh, slightly gets to me. But on the other... I haven't played with him, so I can't really say he's underwhelming or he's overwhelming. But he looks really good. He does look really good. So people deem it as the community consensus is that he's really good. He will most certainly drop the market a little bit do not forget to be playing these solos guys go get it done right now trust me the last thing you want to do is come over in 10 weeks and not have them done and be short in a token you'll be upset especially in october these limited time legends will be huge if they do go up to 95 if we get like a calvin or something you can get that for 95 overall Deion sanders now the only issue i have is that they all have different overalls so it will be kind of annoying come 10 weeks like if i wanted vic or bo jackson or something and then in 10 weeks they're not even usable anymore so in theory the only usable ones that might be the most efficient to take will be the last three that come out because those are probably in the last two that'll be 95 95. now the only way i would say that it's better to take a vic is if you plan to have vic all year and you want to power him up then it makes sense also remember after every series the cards will no longer be limited time so by the time the thing is up, Vic will no longer be a limited time card per se, and he will be able to get pulled from packs. So his value should go down quite a bit, which would also mean that the best bet for you might be just buying the Vic with coins for like 800, 900K, and then just going over and taking one of the limited time that are still limited time from the current series, about where maybe three at that point. And that could be like a Calvin, a Sean Taylor, Dion, whatever ends up coming out. Now, if you guys know where to put the tokens, come over here to the Ultimate Team 10 completion. You put all your tokens in. I do have the two here. Oh God. I forgot to play one, didn't I? Did I forget to play last week's? Hold up. No, no, I did Vix. No, I forgot Vix. I forgot. I'm not getting my card. 
Oh, I'm so pissed right now. Alright, guys, that's it for the video. Wow, okay. I'm I'm beyond pissed right now. How did I forget that? Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please like the video. I just realized that I'm not getting a free player, and I'm really pissed right now. Go like the video. Get this video to 200 likes. Make sure to comment down below what you think of this Julius Peppers. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, and make sure to turn on that noti bell, guys. Get to 8K as quickly as possible. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.